Two finals down, three to go. Let's give you the grid for the CD Rotax Euro Golden Trophy final here at the home of champions. So on the front row, Kai Hunter and Mads Ries. Row two, Sean Butcher, Jan Istiak. Row three, Lewis Gilbert and Ariel Elkin. Matthew Higgins and Farin Mega, row four. Oscar Christensen and Jaden Thien, row five. Row six, Rafael Renhofer and Miska Kaskinen. Paul Fokima and Vic Stevens, row seven. Brandon Carr and Adita Kulkarni, row eight. Mitch Haynert and Jan Bouvier, row nine. Jamie Perley and James Johnson complete the top 20. Gustav, Jon uh, Gustav Jonsson, Morgan Porter, Oscar Hall, Marco Bernard uh, Bernardi, William Halsland, Reese Hunter, Adam Valster, Zombor Kovac, Emily De Hoys, Jordan Weich, Martin Gaiskins, and that is the 399. That is Miska Kaskin, and that has stopped. And I think that is on. That is on the exit of the Europolar. He's trying to get it fired up again. So Martin Gaiskins and Matty Hingley on row 16. Lachlan Robinson and Jens van der Hayden, row 17. Bennett Ahrens and Patrick Scholhammer Rasmussen. Ran out the 36 strong grid. We go on to the formation lap. And Miska Kaskinen gets out of the cart at turn seven and starts pushing. And unfortunately for the Finn, it's game over. It's due to start 12th. So the weather continues, to, well, the rain continues to pummel everything in its wake here at the circuit. And that includes the circuit in front of us, 1,360 meters, 12 turns. And we're going to have 35 drivers going into battle. And there is a whole host of talent that could win this. And the top prize... A full season entry to next year's Euro Trophy Canada starting here in April. They're going all the way through late May at Val d'Argenton, early July in Marienburg, and PF International in the second weekend of, of September. Right then, 14 minutes on the timer. The senior road tax drivers head into the tram lines. Dovetails ahoy, and the lights are out. Good start by Reese Hunter. Mads Reese pulls alongside yet, and Yanis Diak trying to go around the outside. Early doors and Stiak's off. Stiak is off and spinning around. That was Jaden Thien. My goodness me. Jaden Thien was sideways. And who is leading? Well, there's another driver off. That's the 392 that has just gone off as well. And leading away, I think that looks like some chaos. Sport colours at the front. That could be Sean Butcher. So 392 was Denmark's William Haugstrand. Jaden Thien trying to uh, close up in. So it's... And one of the biggest things now is that Kai Hunter, there's been a more drama off of turn seven behind Janis Diak. Someone went spinning around. Looks like an RS competition card, I'm afraid. It's Sean Butcher that looks to be leading. Second, it is Lewis Gilbert, which is the case. Ariel Elkin and Matthew Higgins now round out the top four. Fit, uh, top four places. Now fifth, it's the 388. Oscar Christensen, all oh, bit of a tussle there between Fahin Mega. Looks like that was Kai Hunter getting through, coming out of the final corner. So Butcher leads by nearly four tenths. And in the middle of all of this melee here, that is Brandon Carr, the 8.42, looking up the inside of Higgins through turn four, gets through, and someone's just gone through the biggest standing water puddle through turn four, and that was Hunter. Brandon Carr's off the track. He's going to hold on to the brakes. Hunter puts on the brakes as well and avoids, and they both get past the 3.05 there. Paul Fokima ready to pick up the pieces. Brandon Carr held on for his life. Kai Hunter pummeled the brakes into oblivion and managed to stop it in time. And they both 
managed to get around initially on pull for Kim out, but he's got past the pair of them again. More standing water being thrown onto the track. Rafael Renhofer uh, has also gotten through. And Mats Ries having to keep out of the way of Kai Hunter. And there is Rees Hunter. Rees Hunter has flown up the order. I think that is Rees Hunter. He was 17th and there's drama. 8.71 is around. Oh. Miska Kaskinen already out. 3.71 Zombor Kovac. And it was the 8.71 Matty Hingley. And there... You see, going through, that was Gustav Jonsson coming through. But in the wet weather conditions, Reese Hunter took three positions quickly, lost the position through turn three. And that side pod on Mads Reese's carts on the right hand side is actually slightly elevated. Oh, more dramas. This time for the triple three, Rafael Renhofer. Oh, oh, now that was an SP Motorsport cart going through. And that was possibly more than likely Morgan Porter. Well, that has really uh, put the cat amongst the pigeons, folks. Because I've just spotted Lachlan Robinson, 33rd, now, 50, now 16th. So halfway through the grid, he's gone so far. And we're only just over three and a half minutes into this race. So this weather has given us a great equaliser. As Reese Hunter is now trying to uh, catch up with his next driver, looks like possibly Jamie Perley. Reese Hunter's up the inside. They're going to be side pod to side pod, and Reese Hunter gets through. Black and white warning flag is being shown, and that is to Kai Hunter. So Reese Hunter now in the top ten. Oh, Mads Reese and Rafael Renhofer come together. And Rafael Renhofer has to wait and he gets the tap on the front bumper. They're trying to avoid him. He's right in the racing line. Oh. Yes, I have got the defibrillator on standby just in case, but we still got nine and a half minutes to go. Anything is possible when you throw these difficult wet weather conditions. The rain continues to hit the circuit. And Sean Butcher and Lewis Gilbert are a considerable margin ahead of the driver in third place. Ariel Elkin from Israel. Matthew Higgins from Trafalgar in Wales. 17 years of age from Strawberry Racing now hits fourth place. He's got past Oscar Christensen and is a little bit further away from the Dane in the 388. Matty Hingley unfortunately has retired. And still it is it's getting more like a monsoon out there as opposed to an ice rink. And that is Lachlan Robinson coming into turns one and two. Mads Lees is behind them. So Jamie Perley is actually closing in on the driver in front. It could be... Well, it could be that's actually Morgan Porter ahead of Gustav Jonsson. So Porter up to 11th, Lachlan Robinson up to 13th. And he's ahead of Jamie Perley at the moment. As they make their way through. As far as Mega loses a position to Brandon Carr. That's for sixth out on track. So coming up to six minutes completed. Eight to go plus an additional lap. Sean Butcher's lead over Lewis Gilbert last time was 1.1 seconds. And the gap between Lewis Gilbert and Ariel Elkin now is five point is uh, Lewis Gilbert and Ariel Elkin. That's nearly 4.4 seconds. 4.341 seconds as we've got seven and a half minutes to go. So, oh, Mads Lees off the circuit again. The Dane's day has gone from bad to worse as he loses out big time. Still to be where he is at the moment. Oh, a bit of a touch from behind on one of the drivers in front. Might have been possibly. And that 
case. Well, Man City, this might have been Jamie Perley, I think. But here is the battle for P3. Adoyo Elkin versus Matthew Higgins. And there are your race leaders. Sean Butcher and Lewis Gilbert. Kai Hunter currently running in eighth place. So fourth, fifth and sixth coming through. Oh, <laughs> Brandon Carr getting through on Oscar Christensen to get up into fifth place. And behind them will be. It's not Farhin Mega though. That's going to be Oscar Christensen. So Kai Hunter's made his way back up to sixth position. Brandon Carr making his way into turn six. Gets a good traction out of the corner by sweeping to the outside. So does Kai Hunter, 395, who uh, up until this point had been the person to beat as Hunter looks to the outside through turn eight. Carr uses the curbs and that opens the door for Kai Hunter to get through. And a oh, little bit of a tussle here. That is uh, Oscar Christensen versus Fahim Mega. Mega went for the move and then Paul Fokima decided, right, there we go. Thank you very much. You give someone like Paul Fokima an opportunity, he will not hesitate or second guess himself to take that opportunity. And that's exactly what he's just done, done there. And now he goes up to eighth position ahead of Fahim Mega. Reese Hunter hitting, well, sitting in the top 10 positions, considering the fact he started 26th. At the moment, the gap between first and second position stems at about 1.1 seconds. The intensity of the rain has not died down at all. In fact, it's looking like it's not getting any better out there. There's a nice little overtake that would have been by Farin Mega on Oscar Christensen. Reese Hunter not too far behind. And in the background, I spy with mine at line, Morgan Porter and Lockton Robinson. Both also closing in. Porter and Robinson have set their best, put their best lap times. There's Mansley's. Oh, Mansley's a little bit of a touch, and he just completely gets 100% crossed up. Trying to get through. That would have been on the 850, who leans forward. Now, the 850 was Oscar Hall. And Oscar Hall now has Mansley's on the inside, going through into turn 12. Hall's going to hopefully get the switch back. There's going to be enough room going through past the curbing, but Mansley's keeps the position. Oscar Hall will have the slipstream going into turns one and two. A little bit further up the field, Paul Fokima now trying to get through on Fahim Mega and gets through. That's turn five he's made that pass as the number 305 from France. And there is Rhys Hunter not too far behind either. Oscar Christensen there sitting in ninth position. Rhys Hunter, the 865. He was the winner of the Euro Golden Trophy last year. And I've just spotted our leaders coming through what will be out of turn number 11. So Sean Butcher still leading the way, nearly a second and a half up the road from Lewis Gilbert. Three minutes to go, plus an additional lap on the timer for these drivers. So now on to lap number 10. We've gone into double digits here in Senior Rotax for the final. His dad, Glenn, is watching. Hope you're well, Glenn. Uh, we're having a little chat with uh, Sean at one point. I think it was earlier on this season. I said, who gets more stressed, you or your dad? And he says, um, it's not me and my dad. He stresses, he stresses, he gets stressed out and I get stressed out. But you can see a little bit further behind. Drivers are catching. Uh, Lachlan Robinson, 1 minute 14.325. Morgan Porter, 1 minute 14.393.
And then Reese Hunter, 1 minute 14.790. Oscar Christensen, Paul Fokima, and Farhin Mega running in the, the low to mid, 1 minute 15. So the pace from the two behind could mean that possibly Morgan Porter, the Reese Hunter now, is up into ninth place past Oscar Christensen. I think it's going to be Gustav Jonsson from Sweden as we head into the final 90 seconds plus an additional lap. And now there's going to be a change here. Rhys Hunter, the 8.65 from Great Britain, 21 years of age, based out of Sunderland, gets through on the youngster from Halton Anzir. Mr. Farhan Mega represented Team Germany at the uh, Grand Finals in Condé put over when he was back in Minimax. And there's more squabbling here. Lachlan Robinson and also in front of him, Morgan Porter have just got through. That was on Oscar Christensen. And Robinson was looking through up the inside on the exit of turn number eight. So they're now 10th and 11th respectively. So our leaders coming through turn number three. There is your race leader, Sean Butcher. 1.2 seconds as the timer is about to hit zero. And that'll be at the point when Sean Butcher accelerates out of turn six. And there is Lewis Gilbert. This and one more lap to go. So Mitch Hainert unfortunately retiring on lap seven, but Sean Butcher is one lap and now what will be one corner away. Sean Butcher and Lewis Gilbert have kept themselves in contention for the Euro Golden Trophy crown. And it's the final lap board. All the seniors on the track will be very, very happy to see this as the 346 has just received a time penalty five seconds for pushing that is James Johnson Sean Butcher leading the way through into turn four for the final time but there is some melee a little bit further back Yanni Stiak is involved in that one As they come through into turn number 12 Sean Butcher now making his way down through into turn seven off of the Europa line for the final time Lap number 13, sometimes it's unlucky for some, for others and one particular individual is going to be very, very lucky indeed because I've just seen Sean Butcher coming out of turn nine for the final time. And over in Europe, this will probably be one of his best efforts so far this year. Earlier on in September, he picked up the European crown. The last two years, he's been the BNL Karting Series champion. But the chequered flag is going to wave it was Reese Hunter last year out of the final corner. Sean Butcher's done it. The Aussie base out of London representing Great Britain punches his way to the Euro Trophy for a full season campaign. And going to the BNL Karting Series next year will be Lewis Gilbert in second position. Third place, Matthew Higgins gets a free entry to a round of his choice in the Euro Trophy calendar next year. These are provisional pending any sporting and technical checks post-race, but Sean Butcher kept himself in contention with two victories in the heats yesterday. And sometimes don't lose your head when others lose theirs. But great driving by a lot of these drivers, these two in particular. There's the rest of the field starts to make their way towards the chequered flag. It'll be a welcome sight to see.
So Sean Butcher makes his way in. This year's Euro Trophy champion. Now add Euro Golden Trophy title winner to that champion. There you go, Podig, number one, baby. Well done, that man. Brilliantly done. Lewis Gilbert in second position. Third place for Matthew Higgins. Kai Hunter in fourth. Brandon Carr and Ariel Elkin. Congratulations from a sporting driver in the form of Lewis Gilbert there. And also from Matthew Higgins, who picks up P3. Uh, Kai Hunter, Brandon Carr, Ariel Elkin. Paul Fokima, Rhys Hunter, last year's winner finishing at eighth, ahead of Bowen Mega and Morgan Porter. Lachlan Robinson making it all the way from the back of the grid to finish 11th, ahead of Oscar Christensen, Gustav Jonsson, Martin Gaiskins, Mads Ries, Jan Bouvier, Oscar Hall, uh, Adam Balster, Jaden Thien, Rafael Renhofer, Janis Diak, Zombor Kovac, Jamie Perley, James Johnson, Emily Dehoys, Bennett Ahrens, Adita Kulkarni, Vic Stevens, William Hellstrand, Jens van der Heyden, Jod van Weyck and Patrick Scholhammer Rasmussen with Marco Bernardi from Italy rounding out the, the 33 that finished. Mitch Heinert, uh, Matty Hinchley and Miska Kaskinen did not make the finish. So having a look at the highlights, the rain continued to fall unabated here at the Home of Champions as the 36 drivers would soon become 35 following on from the unfortunate retirement of Miska Kaskinen. The lights went out, we got racing, and Janis Diak went brazen, high, wide, and handsome, looking to the outside of turns one and two. Whilst the field was being led by Reese Hunter, Sean Butcher. Uh, there, now, that was the moment where you had that's why Stiak went wide, because Mads Reese ha had contact with, Reece, uh, with Kai Hunter. Then Jaden Thien decided to join the sideways brigade. Uh, this is the moment that Brandon Carr did not want to have happen, and he, ha he held onto the brakes, nearly slid into the path of uh, Kai Hunter, who managed to circumnavigate it, and Brandon Carr would continue. And they both went round the outside and the inside of Paul Fokima. Turnaround also for one of the dams racing drivers. That was the 861 of uh, looked to be Vic Stevens and the 871 of Matty Hingley with the latter retiring. Then dramas for Raphael Renhofer through turn six. And nearly getting collected by Morgan Porter in the process as he made it his way through between the chaos sport drivers of Renhofer and also Lachlan Robinson. Conditions at the best of times were not easy. But one driver that was making the best of it was a certain Reese Hunter. More dramas again, this time through the exit of turn three for Rafael Renhofer. As everyone struggled to avoid him, and he did get collected. And we also had the drama for the 392. That was William Helgstrand. Again, Brandon Carr and Kai Hunter would go into battle. Fine Mega left it a bit late, going into turn 10 on Oscar Christensen. And they still were wheel to wheel coming into turn number 11. Mads Ries going into turn 10, hit the curves a bit too hard, but Sean Butcher saw the fireworks and the flames, celebrating in style, and then pointed to the number one on his front Nassau panel. <laughs> 